been brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Killers of the Flower Moon by David Gran was one of the best books of 2017, and if you did not grab a copy then, get it in paperback now. To the south of Cowley and Chautauqua Counties, Kansas, lies the largest county in Oklahoma, Osage County. Like most areas with borders, life goes back and forth across the lines, and this story is no different. So although our story is set in Oklahoma, there is great relevance to Kansas. John Foro, writing for the Amazon Book Review, summed up the story. In the 1920s, the Osage found themselves in a unique position among Native American tribes. As other tribal lands were parceled out in an effort by the government to encourage dissolution and assimilation of both lands and culture, the Osage negotiated to maintain the mineral rights for their corner of Oklahoma, creating a kind of underground reservation. It proved a savvy move. Soon, countless oil rigs punctured the dusty landscape, making the Osage very rich. And that's when they started dying. You'd think the Osage Indian Reservation murders would have been a bigger story, one as familiar as the Lindbergh kidnapping or Bonnie and Clyde. It has everything but its scale. Execution-style shootings, poisonings, and exploding houses drove the body count to over two dozen, while private eyes and undercover operatives scoured the territory for clues. Even as legendary and infamous oil barons vied for the most lucrative leases, J. Edgar Hoover's investigation, which he would leverage to enhance both the prestige and power of his fledgling FBI, began to overtake even the town's most respected leaders. Exhuming the massive amount of detail is no mean feat, and it's even harder to make it entertaining, but journalist David Gran knows what he's doing. Killers of the Flower Moon reads like narrative nonfiction as written by James M. Cain. There are, after all, insurance policies involved. Smart, taut, and pacey. Most sobering, though, is how the tale is at once unsurprising and unbelievable, full of arrogance, audacity, and inhumanity that continues to reverberate through today's headlines. I first became aware of these events years ago in a work of fiction, Mean Spirit by Linda Hogan, a Pulitzer Prize-nominated book in 1991. I highly recommend it as well. No matter where you are, the events described by these authors are relevant, but even more so, when it's your own backyard. Well, that's it for today. I'm Frank, and out there in western Kansas is Deb, and we'll see you somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream.